can have as long as he's here and he doesn't need him. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Before doctors will approve Billy's discharge, Billy will be required to radically improve his fitness level. Without the distraction of video games, things are starting to look up. Billy makes good progress building his stamina, and his mum's counselling sessions appear to be paying off, as she's realising she can aid his recovery. He knows my buttons to push and my switches to throw. He's been doing it for 19 years. And, you know, uh, he's the creator of the monster. And I'm very fearful that I'll just wear down and go, you know, I'm tired. Here's two Big Macs. Knock yourself out. But then on the other hand, I think, no, I can be strong. And if I'm the one that's giving it to him, then I have complete control. I can say there's one pork chop, there's two scoops of mashed potato, no gravy, no fried. Hey. No, hey, Dr. Missarden. Billy did go? good. You just have a little discomfort. Usually it's not much of pain. That, uh, that's just a Billy. A little pain is a lot of pain yes, for him. Sir. Boy, you've got his ticket figured out, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's my Billy. God knows if I had it to do over again, I would love him just as much, but I would change everything. The guilt that I have, it's a lot to bear. Sometimes it almost destroys me. If I had it to do over again, the child would not know what a hamburger is, I swear to God. But we don't have it to do over again. So we committed to this, and I'm hoping he'll keep committing to this and come out on the other end, 200 pounds. And, and he and I look at each other one day and laugh, like, can you believe the trouble you caused, Dr. Massard? And mine, you about killed me, but look at you now. I wait for that day, I wait for that day. I wait for it. I hope for it, I dream for it. Ready? Ready? That's right. Okay. okay. After a week of intensive exercise, Billy's stamina is considerably improved. In just over four months, he has lost 25 stone. Billy is at last allowed to go home. He will be expected to continue his diet and exercise program until he reaches his 14 stone goal. You can do it, just pace yourself. You can do it. Oh, that's okay, a little at a time. Thank you. There's a pole there if you need it. You can do it. You're almost there. You gotta want it, baby. You gotta want it. You gotta want it. There's your chair. Go for it. Oh, no. We're going to the room. All right. Well, we didn't need that after all. Well? You all right? Tired. Tired? You did it. We're home! <coughs> so proud of myself. I want to cry. I did it. Come. Oh, honey. Sorry. That's all right. But I don't have anything on it. In your stomach? Well, we'll get you For some. Billy's treatment to be successful, his mum needs to change the way she has always fed him. You want a turkey dog? She now I want you to take 30 dog. minutes to eat it. And if you okay. can't eat up two or three bites, you're full, I want you to stop. Just now getting him a hot dog, which that's fine. He, my baby just come home from the hospital. But it stirs up old flashbacks, you know, of me just running back and forth waiting on him because that's how he got to 800 pounds. And uh, I'm just, I guess that's one of the fears I'm scared. I just really don't want that routine to start up again. I think it's going to take about a week for he and I to get used to each other again. After a few days, Dr. Nazardan pays a visit. He's here to check how Billy and his mom are coping. Would it be possible, Billy, to get you to stand up? Um, I would have liked to see you losing a little bit more weight. Uh, so, uh, what, uh, what do you usually eat uh, for breakfast? A ham sandwich with uh, egg white on it. And what do you eat for usually for lunch? It's mostly chicken. He eats a lot of and turkey. I think you overfeed him. It's 
Yes, you know, the, the amount of calorie requirement for his system is very, very small. Unless Billy learns to follow the new regime successfully, his stomach is in danger of stretching back. Huh? Go again? He, he needs more exercise and you need to cut everything in half. This is way too much food uh, in the daytime to eat. Barbara is realizing all the work of the last four months will be undone unless things change. This is his old chair. There's the footstool, and it's all, you know, messed up from him just living in it for quite a while. I'm scared if he gets another chair back in his room, he's going to do the old ways. He's going to start going to sleep in it, wetting in it because he doesn't wake up in time, or getting too comfortable and familiar that he doesn't want to get up. You know that you have to get up because Dr. Nassarin says two days without moving is going to make you the way you were in the hospital week. Well... That's because those bus muscles need... No, we're going to walk. I guess when the around. removal of his chair and computer huh? games doesn't stir Billy into action, Barbara finally snaps. Listen to Mother. Your 300-pound slider. There's nothing medically wrong with you. Me, you keep on saying that over and over again. Okay, well, what's medically wrong? I might be 300-pound slider, but I'm still 540-something pounds, and that's no damn light thing. That is extremely heavy. Mother, that's not a And you know what? It's going to stay that way if you don't get your ass up moving. I'm getting tired, son. Oh, I'm mother, getting tired of waiting on you hand and foot. You are going to get up. I'm not going to bury another child. Mother, are you doing all this? I am not going to bury another child. Oh, it's always about how you bury Do you child. understand me? Will you just stop it, Mom? I'm not going to Because die. if I don't fight for you, no, if mother, I don't fight you know, try to get you up out of this bed, crap. you're going to lay there until you die. You are not fighting. Do you want to die? Do you want to die? Just leave. Do you alone, want to mom. die? Do you want to die? Sometimes, yes. We started this process so that you could have a better life and be independent of your daddy and I. And if we brought dead, you could take care of yourself. You are at that point right now. If he and I die in 10 seconds from now, you will die of starvation. I'm leave you alone, mom. Yeah, I'm going to leave you alone. I'm very scared about moving on my own, but then I think, you know, I'm going to have to move out eventually. Yeah, and I just feel, you know, like I'm just slowly killing her or something. It makes me feel like I just really got to get better and get this through and get on with my life. So, you know, so I can make it easy for my mom. Because right now, you know, it's very hard for her. year from now I'd love to see him in college three years from now I'd love to see him with someone maybe get married have a good job an education be able to take care of himself I've always told him since he's little I said nothing is impossible if you want to be the president of the United States of America that's there for you for the taking Well, sorry about the technical problems we had at the beginning of the programme. For more information on the issues featured, go to the website channel4.com. Film thriller up next, John Travolta and Vince Vaughan at Loggerheads in Domestic Disturbance.